Hi, how are you? I'm Paul and this little world here is Rio Driving School. So if you're preparing for a driving test, learning to become a driving instructor or perhaps you're just learning to drive for the very first time, then yes, I definitely think you've come to the right place. You're going to really like it around here. Today, I've got Nikki with me and she is preparing for a driving test in the Featherstone area. So we're going to go and assess her driving today. Hi, you Nikki. All right. Hi. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, we we we've been working together for a little while now. Your driving, in my opinion, it's really come on a lot. It's going to be interesting today to see how you drive under pressure because obviously we've got the cameras on which is going to feel a little bit strange. In a way, turn that to your advantage because this kind of artificial environment is going to feel a little bit similar to how you might feel on the daily driving test. So think about it like that. Um, before we get going uh, on this assessment today, have you got any concerns at all or is there any part of your driving let's let's say for example things didn't go your way on the driving test off, right off the top of your head right now what would it be parallel park oh okay yeah very sure about that okay so sure we can we can look at that it, what about driving wise any weaknesses mirrors mirrors and possibly islands okay mirrors and in roundabouts, fine. So I'll, I'll keep my eye on that. In fact, what I'll do, because my brain sometimes lets me down, I'm going to make some notes as we go along today. Okay. All right, um, yeah. Right, yeah, all right then. So what I want you to do today, I'll make up a route that incorporates roundabouts, okay, yep. and a parallel park. Uh, and it's your job from now on to follow the road ahead at all times unless I ask you to turn left or right or unless road signs or road markings indicate or the one is okay yep. any questions no let's no? go all right let's let's turn left when you're ready I will remind you that's a national speed limit road out there so just be a bit careful
too bad. Yeah. Do you feel tense than usual? Or yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I understand that. Um, just try and just try and relax. I'll tell you a nice way to think about it. Just imagine, you know, you've picked up a sick relative from the hospital with a really bad neck or maybe they've had an operation on their back or something like that and you don't want to knock them around by any sharp braking or any sudden movements on the steering or anything like that. Just, just, you're just trying to get me home safe. All right. So when you're ready, drive on.
you didn't cause him any inconvenience at all, that was great, well done. Doing alright, aren't you? Let's see what other traps I can lay for it. Just follow the road ahead and the traffic.
way to take that second gear as long as the right hand is not moving the steering wheel. You should be moving the steering wheel with two hands. So one mark for steering there. asked for it we're going to be doing a parallel park in a moment um, you know on the day of your driving test they would not ask you to do this move if the car was pointing that way in all the tests that I've sat in on they've never ever asked for it like that but we live in a real world so I'm going to do it. Okay, okay. whenever you're ready unless you've got any questions or concerns yourself what did you think of that I don't know I, always, I don't like parallel parking <laughs> okay did you get the job done I think so yeah and it's within the distance of two car lengths so that's another tick for me there's was, there was a couple of problems um, two, two problems let's talk about the one that's serious no, 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 no. Everything was fine. When when you you pulled up alongside that vehicle, when you started to bring the car back, at the point of turn when you knew you needed to start steering the wheel to bring the car out, where did you check? check? I never checked that, where the car was going to come out. Where would you check then to do that? That way. My blind spot. 
you know when you checked it? After I've done it. Yeah, yeah. It's kind of like crossing the road and then checking to see if it's safe. Yeah. <laughs> so, before you start steering, I mean, if you've got, let's say you're decorating and you've got some ladders under your arm and someone calls your name, are you going to look over your shoulder or are you just going to turn around and wallop somebody with your Probably ladders? Probably just turn around <laughs> somebody <laughs> okay, would. Okay but... then. <laughs> no one will get what you're saying. Yeah, so just, just, just think, is it safe? And then, and then go. But that, the rest of it was great. One note I'd say is you, you were checking around generally um, after you did the turn, but then as you start coming back towards the curb, What's the danger? What's the danger that we didn't check for as we were reversing towards the curb? Now? So, was anybody walking up the street? Yeah. So uh, I'd be interested to know is someone going to be daft enough to step out because people do daft things. Yeah, yeah. So don't assume that they understand those white lights and the car oh, reversing yeah. towards them. It just doesn't mean anything. I've, I've had it happen to me loads of times. Other than that though, lovely. So you just gotta remember blind spot and then make a note there. So blind spot plus uh, rear window observations. Then it'd be perfect, wouldn't it? Yep. Alright, drive on when you're ready please. situation behind you. When you get to the roundabout, turn right please. Did you 
a mirror check then? Yeah, well let's go. Any, any idea why? I don't know. I knew I'd done it again. Okay, never mind, don't worry. Follow the road ahead when you get to the roundabout, please.
point, I've only seen a, you know, a few of them. Mirrors in pairs, that was right at the beginning of the test. Do you remember, we, we, we were driving along, I said turn left, and you checked your yeah. internal mirror, put your signal on, and then you check your left one. You fixed it after we had that discussion. Mirror before break, that's happened a couple of times. Uh, where you've started to break and then you check the mirror. You want to do that the other way around. Yeah. Um, yeah. Observations at crossroads, make sure you're looking both, both ways. ways. In fact, as you're following the road ahead, you're looking right ahead, left ahead and right. Looking for anyone ahead that might be trying to cross your path as well, remember. Um, signals at roundabouts, uh, make sure you uh, do the signals when they're needed and also remember to check the near side mirror also especially when you're turning right. We had one mark for steering today uh, where you were emerging and turning right. We know about that. Yeah. How did you feel about the drive overall? Not too bad, a bit nervous. Well, yeah, well, that's going to give you a realistic idea of what you're up against. Was it, did it seem like a long time? Um, not really. No, we typically do two hour classes together, um, and on the daily test, it's, the whole test is 38 to 40 minutes long. You're going to stop three, four times perhaps, so that they can assess hill starts, angled starts, like we did. Yeah. Uh, the manoeuvre of course, up to three minutes long, unofficially. Uh, so really, the, the driving element of the assessment is only going to be about 30 minutes-ish. Uh, we've just got to make sure that you know where all the bits and pieces yeah. are. So we can do that. That's, that's going to be fine. So yeah, I, I thought it was really good. I, I'm really quite excited about this for you, and I'm going to make sure we're ready. Yeah. Yep. Um, what did you think about the driving assessment today? Leave your questions and comments down below, please, and I'll see you for the next one. Cheers. See ya. <laughs>